on the way back into Brighton now. Oh. It's the uh, morning of Brighton Marathon. Um, I'm just getting ready to leave. Um, so plan today is just to run it super easy. Um, I know I'm just rebuilding my fitness at the moment. And red wave runners. Brighton now. Now, this is where the, the real race starts. Oh, time to start suffering a bit. Oh. Let's go, JT. Let's go.
last stretch. Oh, here we go. Just got back from the uh, from the race. Um, oh, it's brilliant to be back running with the uh, with the crowds again. Um, it was, uh, yeah, it was just the support and it makes it so much easier when you're suffering just to have you know, thousands of people cheering you on. So, yeah, it was really nice to be back out um, running these big events. Um, the, the race was a bit of a struggle. Um, the, the last 10K, my legs you know, started, to, started to hurt quite a bit. Um, you know, from a, from a kind of breathing perspective, like heart, lungs, um, like my respiratory system, um, that was fine to be honest. I wasn't, I wasn't struggling, but my thighs were starting to cramp um, from about 30k. Um, so there was a bit of walking um, towards the end of the marathon. Um, just haven't had enough training. Um, six weeks or so, uh, it's just not enough to, to to run a marathon at any speed. Um, so my plan was to roughly run around. Uh, 350 marathon and I came in at about uh, 406 um, but got my got my t-shirt got my medal that's the important thing um, but yeah it knows it, it was a nice day out um, so I'm heading up to the the Lake District tomorrow um, so I'm hoping to uh, to get a bit of trail running in this week um, take the cameras up with me as well uh, but yeah hopefully the legs recover enough to uh, to get out on the trails because uh, very yeah, it's a beautiful part of the world. Alright, cheers, bye.